Hey guys, this is Stride. Today we'll be going over Helicopter Stronghold Level 5. And uh, just like Level 4, 3, 2, 1, and I'm assuming all the other levels, Helicopter and Fixed Wing, they're all going to be looking exact same thing. The thing about this Helicopter Stronghold is... I wouldn't recommend you to attack this if you're level 27 or below. I would just recommend you just to stay in your area and continue attacking level 4 one. Because over here you're going to get one extra critical but in return you're going to be losing way too much oil. And look at that. We're going to have to make something go through to defend against all those MG and it's going to be one of our tank. I'll, so I'll go over the full walkthrough with you. But um, I like I say I wouldn't recommend attacking if you're level 27 and below, and you need a helicopter critical cards. I would recommend you just stay in level four and do it. But like I say, once you hit 28, you're gonna be end up attacking it. That's your only choice. But best thing about the fixed wing is you're gonna get 10 critical. That means five of them gonna be Reaper and other five gonna be Thunderbolt. So, in order for you to attack this, we're going to be using one tank. You could have many heavy as you can. Oh, right now, I only have 22. I don't have any more heavy, so I'm not. I mean, not heavy. I don't know why I'm saying heavy. The machine gunner. So right now, I'm using 22 machine gunner. I have 11 on the first slot, 11 on the second, and I have our standard infantry unit on it's in 11 and 12 on a slot 4 and 5 our riflemen so let me show you how we could attack this this is a very tricky attack you're gonna have to give your full 100% tension here to attack this, let's do this. So we're gonna select all the infantry units. So let's select them. All right, we got them all selected. Let's drop them over here. We're gonna break the barrier, and we're gonna tell it to attack the MG. Once we do that, we're gonna fall back. This ray gun's charging up real quick. And we're gonna stay back to attack all these incoming helicopters. You, if you feel like daring, you could move out and do it. I sometimes do it, but for right now, in order to show you the least amount of all getting used, this is the best thing you could do. You could just stay back, let each helicopter come one at a time and destroy it. I do recommend you just stay, go back here, turn your AI off. As soon as the helicopter comes closer, turn it on. So they could all auto attack it. You don't have to worry about selecting a helicopter because you know attacking a helicopter is hard. Sometimes you're gonna end up attacking, like not attacking it, you're gonna end up on the ground. Another one's coming. Turn the AI on and off quick. Got one more helicopter coming. You think if I could take him out? If I could take this guy out, I'll be pretty good. I did. I'm gonna fall back. Helicopter coming on and off. I think we're done. We did pretty much good job. And after taking out those four waves of helicopter, let's just clean everything out around here. Because after this, we're gonna be bringing our tank. Another thing we're gonna be doing is gonna go a little bit here and gonna wait for that helicopter to come. Turn AI on and off. We took it off. Good job. I'm gonna stay here. Now, pulling a tank is kind of a tricky part. We're gonna have to make it go through all the mines. So the best thing we're gonna do, make it go here. Then gonna make it go over here. So we only get hit by two mines. And once you do that, just bring it up back there. Select everyone, just tell them to go in here. 
be going to attack this helicopter because he's gonna be a problem. He's gonna take out our tank if you don't do anything about it. Take out all this ground unit. Take out that one rifleman back there being an annoying little guy. Alright, over here we're gonna try to control as much as we can. Try to hug the wall, come here, take everything out and tell it to go focus on the ray gun. After this, automatically all of our ground units are gonna take out the chopper. The hardest part about this stage, this stage, stage, I don't know why I said that, but the stage is this motor back here. And the best thing we could do, we're gonna have our tank, tank, we're gonna t send our tank first for the MG. And then we're gonna send all of our ground units. Another thing is, you don't want to send the tank out next to the howitzer. Howitzer has a full focus on it. We're gonna send our tank up top. Let our ground unit do their job. They're gonna be taking everything out. They're gonna take everything out for us. The key part over here, the whole attack was to have our AI on. So our our infantry unit and uh, riflemans and all of them could go clear out the motor while the motor was focusing only on a tank so this is the easiest part now we're gonna send our tank up front select all the other units and send them right behind it and this is just the easy cleanup after this and just turn on the AI Infantry and riflemen gonna drop that chopper and everything gonna get cleaned up soon. And this is it guys. This is my last video for night. I pretty much created all the videos for level 4 and level 5 strongholds. So if I remember the average amount you end up using around 750 to 850 but let me see if his last that might be wrong I don't remember but I'm assuming the average around that and like yeah I don't know if you guys noticed we got a thunderbolt let's see I am kind of scared oh no nope, not this 790 yeah so it's about that 750 to 850 is the amount of range I'm assuming we're gonna be you guys going to be using uh, all on this stage all right guys thank you for watching my video I'll be posting more videos later on some of the outposts just let me know if you want me to focus on certain outposts cause if you think about it outposts are also very important as much as the stronghold because the outpost is the one that's going to give us the common cards and some of the level ups. Like look at this one. You need about 50 common cards just to level up this guy. And I'm assuming once I level up I'm going to need 60 of them. So at one point common cards are going to become a very important in this game. So see you guys later. And let me know if you guys want me to do specific outpost or stronghold I could go over it and yeah I'll do my best to try to bring back the good video for infantry stronghold alright guys good night and see you later